So we are going to import a photo of a letter. So I have my letter here. The next thing I want to do is I want to reduce the opacity of this letter. So I'm going to select it, reduce the opacity by about maybe 20% or 10%. And then I want to lock this layer. And then I'm going to create a new layer above that. And I'm going to start using the pen tool now. So this is the pen tool. This is the way I would vectorize my letters in Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. Um, and you'll see that it looks something like this. You can change the color, you can make it a stroke, you can make it not have a fill. So over here is where I would control that. This is where I'll select the color. I'm gonna make it black so it's easier to see. And then the stroke black as well. So if I vectorize or if I use the pen tool like this, you'll see that it fills it in. But in this case, I don't wanna have a fill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the fill and select no fill. So now when I'm doing this, it's just a line. And just to make things easier as well, I also want to make sure that the stroke of my path is thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the selection tool and I'm going to choose the width of the stroke and I'm gonna make it about seven points. Okay, so now we are ready to go. Okay, so I like to start on very straight edges. So I'm gonna start on this side and I'm gonna go down just like that. Now when I get to a curve, I'm gonna pull. So you wanna pull it so it fits that curve nicely. Just like that. And then I have another curve here, but this might be too far of a, the, pen, the handle here is a bit too far, so I'm gonna pull it in. And then I'll do this. Something like that. And then bring it over here. And then same thing. Bring it up. Try to stay at vertical and horizontal degrees. And again, this way and slowly bring that curve until it's zero degrees again, just like that. And then I'm gonna complete the letter all the way at the top. I like to make my letters in pieces and then combine them. And then I'm gonna go across. And then again here. Make sure it's at zero. So I want to pull it down a bit more. And just like that. So right now we have this portion vectorized and you can go back and edit the points by clicking on the direct selection tool and you can edit those points to make it zero. If you wanna add a point, you just grab the select pen tool and then you tap, and then you've added an additional point, but I don't need that additional point, so I'm gonna undo that. So now I have this portion. Now I'm gonna do the rounded part of the R. I've created my new layer, and I'm gonna start again at the top. Now an easy way to create these shapes is you can actually grab the square and then start filling your shape like that. And then I could duplicate that and bring it down here. Just like that. And then I can grab my pen tool and then at the end of this, I'm gonna combine them all. So I want, I like to keep it at zero, vertical and horizontal lines, zero degrees. Try to stay at zero degrees at all times. Just like that. Again, zero degrees. And zero degrees. And close it. So, so far my letter looks something like this. It's all kind of combining with different shapes. Um, and then I want to make sure all these align, so I'm going to select them all. I'm going to click the Align tool and align to the top. Okay, so now I've created a new layer to start 
vectorizing the bottom portion of the R. And again, I'm trying to stick with horizontal and vertical angles with zero degrees. So I'm just following the shape of the R, trying to stick to zero degree angles by using vertical and horizontal lines. And then again, zero. And then I'm gonna connect these two. So now I have my letter. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select them all. Then I'm going to go to the Combine Shapes panel and I'm gonna click Combine All. So now all my shapes are combined. I want to convert them to a path, so now it's all one path. Now I can go in and edit the path by clicking on the Direct Selection tool and I can remove some of these paths and edit some of them. And just fixing it. You go in there and fix it. There's, there's a, you can see here, there's like this edge. Again, I'm going to delete that path. Now there's a bump here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this handle and pull it down just like that. And then you're just kind of going through the letter scene where you can fix anything. Um, I want to kind of fix it over here. Maybe pull this in a bit. And then I want to make sure these points down here are all aligned. So I'm going to select the bottom most points and then click on the align tool and align to the bottom. Now this portion needs to be pulled up a bit. just like that and again you can just keep on going to see where you can fix it um, but this looks good and this is the vectorized letter if I hide the bottom layer with the image I have my R right here and then I can fill it in with whatever color I want Let's say maybe I make it yellow or pink or red um, and then what the cool thing about the Adobe Illustrator app is now you can export it you can go to publish and export as an AI file export it and then you can send it as an email to yourself or however you want to send it, but then you can open it up in Adobe Illustrator on the desktop. But this is a vectorized letter. It has the anchor points, it has path. So this is a very simple way to vectorize your letters on the iPad.